playground is the mounds. And why I like the mounds is because it gives the children an opportunity to play in the environment and it gives the kids much more space and they start climbing. We wanted the kids to use their own imagination for play and not be flunked on a toy where all the fun was taken out of it. So it's about using their own brains, making fun out of something that's just quite ordinary. Um, I think the rope things are a good thing because if we're actually fighting about it, we're doing stuff together and that can be quite a social thing to do with people. And if you fight at the start, you're always going to have a happy ending. We all get along and it helps us to become friends with other people, no matter what they look like. Or it's a negotiation techniques. Just being able to have fun with people, no, just no matter what their personality is like, because everybody likes to do that. We we like all the environmental projects because it helps us get out into the into the world and start liking it much better than when you're inside. It's much better to be outside because you've got fresh air instead of locked inside, just doing things that aren't really giving you air. And it helps you. All the things that we've been doing at Balfour School is a lot of environmental things, which help us get our brain working. One of the things that we've been doing is we've been going, we went up to the Glen Neuro Reserve and we're thinking about putting new fences up, doing trapping up there and just improving the world and helping special trees grow and making and helping out making new tracks so that people can enjoy the outdoors just not far from town. Uh, we've got the vegetable garden installed. Um, it's a great way to teach kids from start to finish about where their food actually comes from. Um, we want to get the kids involved in actually growing the seedlings themselves and planting the seeds themselves looking after them. The reason we want the vegetable garden at the front of the school is so that the kids in their lunch area just get into it themselves without having to, to be part of a classroom activity. Um, we'd also like to expand that into cooking with the food, and giving them into the kitchen. And, yeah. So Carter, can you tell Adrian what have we been doing in the garden? Um, And we dug out, how many gardens did we make last year? Four, I think. Four, we did. And we had to do all that digging out, didn't we? Yep. Is that hard work or easy? Maybe a wee bit hard. A wee bit hard. Why was it hard? Lots of wheelbarrows of bark just we had to shift, didn't we? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then when we had the big holes, what did we put in the big holes for the garden? An apple tree, I think. Yep. Planted an apple tree and a strawberry. Right here. Pear tree? Oh yes. Yeah. And plum tree? Yeah. 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 I like doing, going to the Pukeki lines and giving them the baking because that's because that was the first thing that I really did in, in the net group. Um, I liked the planting the tussocks in the nursery because I hadn't really done it before and I liked um, like putting potting on it. Um, I like the, uh, the nurse, no not the nurse, the reserve because you got, you hear a wee boy and got you but 
put it on some things and I like planting the reed tussocks and the play in it and I like putting the weed mat on. I like doing the hazelnut picking at Mr. and Mrs. Smith because well, we're, we're, we're getting all the hazelnuts to, um, for, for us to sell them and raise a bit more money for the school so we can do more fun and environment sort of activities. Uh, my favourite uh, project is the, um, <coughs> uh, the reserve because we, I, we, I like putting like, the covers and stuff on and planting the tussocks and also we had fun just walking out because some of us kept on walking out. My favourite project would have to be um, the de-husking because we could finally wait for them to dry and we'll be able to cut them in and sell them and get some money. Mine would probably be the hazelnut picking. Even though I didn't go, I got to de them. And I also liked um, the native area, being able to plant them. What do you guys think is the best thing about Riverton Rocks? Um, the exploring and the nature. I think learning new things and getting to explore new places. The experience. The, the knowledge you learn. Probably being able to go out to somewhere like the beach or the bush. Learning new things and um, just yeah, basically to learn. Getting to see new things you don't see every day. Yeah. Yeah. It's also awesome. It's a good experience. Yeah, it helps you it's if you're out uh, and like nature by yourself. It's good tips if you know what to do.